are listening to the FDWpodcast.com, where we talk about wrestling in all of its laughable glory. Here's a clip from this week's episode. All right, everybody, it's time for quick hits. Those of you guys new to the show, each one of us is going to get 30 seconds to sound off on a news topic. If there's afterwards, we'll scream at each other for a while. Uh, WWE, this has been asked after Over the Limit. Worst commenter group, Taz Today, and brought up earlier today. Uh, Taz Today or Cole Lawler, Booker, Matt, and Y? Uh, who has the worst uh, uh, commenter group? TNA or WWE, Rob? I'm tempted to say WWE, but I have to go with TNA just because Taz and TNA are horrible. Um, I mean, they they over push stuff, so you know when something they they take a lot of the fun out of pro wrestling for people who are casual watchers, casual fans. Because they over push something, they over push something, so you know what's going on and everything. Uh, so you know when a company wants something to go one way. Uh, they give up calling a match about halfway through and start arguing with each other. Um, there's not an episode of Impact where Taz doesn't mench, uh, mention okay. 500 million times about how the outer edge of the ring is harder than the rest of the ring. Okay. I could go all night. Oh, I'm yeah, not. absolutely. Uh, we know you can. Um, <laughs> you're going to. Yes, pretty much. Um, worst commentary group, I'm going to say Taz Tanay, but I don't like Tanay. I know Rob hates Taz. I thought Taz did well when he was in the SmackDown color role. So, I mean, to me, it, it, the big the big problem is the play-by-play guy. Okay. Uh, Kevin, go. Uh, to me, it's Taz today, but I, I see the argument. Four guys on an announced team is way too many. I think three guys on any announced team is too many. I think you need a play-by-play guy and a color guy, and that's it. They know how to work together. They know when one's going to stop. They know when the other can pick right back up. I don't see a need for three. Four is absurd. Just no more. Stop. Yeah. Why would you want to listen to four guys talk about wrestling? Yeah, no oh. shit. Wait. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to say Taz today because the only thing that was dragging me down as far as uh, Cole Lawler, Booker, and Matt uh, was Lawler. Whenever Lawler is around, more, it, Lawler and Cole works. Lawler, Cole plus X never works. Lawler tries way too hard to say things that are funny, and they either come off as borderline offensive or just weird. Uh, so I'm going to say Taz today. Oh, Chad, great idea. Bill Hughes. Bill Hughes should be in TNA. Who? Get rid of TNA. No, 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 no. You, you, you actually want to create the best combo ever. They've done it once before. Joey Styles, Mick Foley. I don't. I never saw that one. But Joey Styles, yes. ECW One Night Stand, first one. Wow, Garvin is all over this. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, so we. Uh, Twitter saying Booker Cole Lawler. They're disagreeing with. Uh, I don't know. Booker's right. pretty bad. I'm tired of hearing Lawler. And if Cole drops a lot of the gimmick, he's good. I love the gimmick though. And Matt Striker's great. I think Cole and Matt Striker have a great rapport. I so think was Striker was coming into his own with Josh Matthews before they let Matthews go. No, well, I don't know. I think Cole and Striker were really, really good. Anyway, uh, before I move on. Yeah, just a point of clarification. Uh, I love Taz as a wrestler, and he's all right as a commentator. I definitely hate Mike Tanay much more than I hate Taz, so just correcting what Joe said. I just think that uh, together, Taz and Tanay haven't gotten that chemistry right yet. It just doesn't work between them yet. They're like sushi and peanut butter. Yes, great comparison. Well, you've heard our thoughts, but now we want to hear from you. You can find us on Facebook and Twitter, and even join us live every Tuesday at 8 p.m. at the FTWpodcast.com.